So in our electric force lab, we looked at the relationship between the size of the electric force on two charged objects and found out how it was related to the distance those objects were separated. So just to kind of show that, we take two pieces of sticky tape that are pulled off the table and we bring them some distance apart. We can see that there's a little bit of repulsion and as the distance that they're separated gets smaller, as the distance goes down, we can see that the size of the electric force does indeed go up. And in our lab, we found out that the relationship is <clears throat> the electric force is directly related to uh, 1 over the distance squared. So if the distance is doubled, the force goes down 4 times. Or if the distance is halved, the force goes up 4 times. So the thing that we want to investigate now is if we could change how much charge is on one of those objects, um, does that also affect the size of the electric force? And so <clears throat> to do that, we're going to first, uh, we need to have two objects with a similar charge, and we're going to uh, remove some of that amount of charge or make it less uh, positively charged and find out if we reduce the amount of charge in one of the objects, does the object feel a smaller electric force? So we're going to first start with uh, making taking some sticky tape. This is uh, two layers together and in our sticky tape lab we found that when we take, put three layers of tape down, we take the top two off, we neutralize it. Let's just make sure it's neutral so it's not attracted to my neutral hand. So these two tapes together are neutral and if I quickly separate the top from the bottom, okay, uh, we end up making two objects with different charges we found out through investigation that the top tape has a positive charge and the bottom tape has a negative charge. So I'm going to put the tape that has a positive charge, just hang it right there. <clears throat> and I want to create something else that has a positive charge that will repel that. In our electrophorus lab, we used a, uh, an insulated material, just a styrofoam plate. When you rub it on your hair, we charge that negatively with friction. So I bring that close. You can see it really attracts the positive tape. And if we take this neutral piece of metal and we bring it close to that negatively charged object and we ground it, there's a little shock there, I'm now charging this by induction. We're polarizing it and grounding it. And when I pick it up, this thing should have a positive charge. We can see that that's the case because the piece of tape is repelled by that. So if I now take this positively charged aluminum pan, bring it close so we can see that it repels, and if I touch this neutral pan to that, that neutral pan added some of its electrons, making this less positively charged, and we can see that the tape swung a little bit closer, indicating that the electric force got smaller. So it seems like if the charge on this object is less positive, the size of the, the electric repulsion pushing that piece of tape away is also smaller. So it seems like the electric force also depends on the amount of charge that an object has, not just the distance between those objects.